No, no. This is, uh, this is baloney. Uh, I mean, how stupid do you guys think I am? Like, I would never lie to you like that. Okay, what, Freddy? What about when you said that we were getting raises? Okay. I didn't lie to you, Fred. Uh, the edible underwear market lied to me. Danny, Founder's Day is a real holiday. If it were a real holiday, then we would get the day off. That's only for national holidays. Founder's Day is just for this town. Excuses. Look, let's do this one more time for the Dannys in the room. Founder's Day is a celebration of when Robert Ringwald and his family moved here to escape persecution from the post office. We have a parade on Main Street and every business pitches in for the festivities. It's kind of like the 4th of July, but for our town. Okay, that story might add up, but I've never heard of persecution from a post office. He wouldn't mail on Sundays. No, I thought it was that he didn't want mail on Saturdays. But why? So that they would have to give it to him on Sundays? Same thing. No, it's not! I thought it was because the post office refused to give him a job. Because he wanted mail on Sundays? No. They were already going to do that. He just didn't want to work Sundays. You know, suddenly, I don't feel so stupid anymore. Give it a second. Hey, Indy, how can I help you today? Hey, do you know if something's wrong with Ace? I'm not sure. She really doesn't come to family dinner too often. You guys are roommates, though. Wouldn't she tell you something's wrong? Yeah, I know, but I thought she'd have told you. I don't know, something's kind of off. Mm, something's always off with that girl. We're talking about the person who laughed at the beginning of Up. Yeah, I know, but I guess it's just kind of tough when you really like someone and you've told them you like them, but you can't really tell if they like you, you know? Yeah, that's so true. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye! Was she talking about me? You know, when I said see you later, Jenny, I almost certainly meant uh, never do I ever want to see you again, Jenna. I think it's worth a scientific study to determine how you even made it through adulthood. Yeah, and what are you doing now? What aren't I doing? I have to get started on cleaning this place up for tomorrow's annual showing of the town's history film and talk to Tom about getting the front door to stop creaking. I also have to figure out how August can stop giving away free candy every single time someone questions him on the prices. And on top of everything else, I can't even find the history film that we're supposed to show tomorrow in the first place. Why do I even wonder anymore? Okay, so don't get in a tizzy, um, but uh, a while back, me and Joanne were up here and uh, we had a bunch of scented candles and we thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun and wacky if we lit all the scented candles and smelled all the smells? And uh, we almost lit the place on fire and we def definitely uh, burned the film to a crisp. The whole town is coming tomorrow, Danny. What am I going to do, show them Jurassic World? That film isn't even close to being historically accurate. No, you're right. The dinosaur would have wrecked those kids. Damn it! I don't have time to make a whole new film documenting every single thing that happened in this town. Well, you know, I actually work here, so uh, I can make the film. I'm not even sure you know how to make cereal. Oh, so you don't think I could do it? 
besides the fact that you're incompetent? You don't know anything about this town. How are you going to make a film about it? I know more than you think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Seriously? We know so much, then we should be in for a real treat tomorrow. Well, um, yeah, yeah, you, you bet your bottom dollar you are. All right, have fun. Uh, I will. Damn it. Ace, I need your help. Gee, that sounds like a lot of fun, but I can't. I have a three o'clock appointment with... With who? Give me a minute, it'll come to me. Okay, look, some words were said, or rather yelled, uh, and now I'm in charge of making a film about the town's history and I only know like 50% of it. 50? 48? I'm pretty sure you don't even know the town name. Which is why I need your help. And I'm the only one who knows. You're not the only one who knows, but you're the only one I trust. In that case, I'll help you with your book. Just... It's a film, though. I'm pretty sure by the end of this, it won't be either. You're doing it wrong. Sorry. Hey, Fred, do you think you help me with something? No. Please, I need advice about Indy. I think she likes me. Wait, you like Indy? Hey, you like Indy? That's awesome, dude. Well, uh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, can you guys help? Of course. Yeah. That's, that's, what's, that's what friends are for, right? And I'll be the, the Mr. Miyagi to your Rocky. <laughs> okay, Mr. Miyagi, why don't you tell August what he should do? Well, first things first. You need to understand that love, like life, is a gift that needs to be cherished and nurtured. And you need to show Wendy that you're willing to put her needs above even your own. Yeah, you could do that, but my way works a lot faster. He's right. What is it? Well, Ace, I can't thank you enough for agreeing to uh, help me in my <laughs> cinematic endeavor. <laughs> well, it wasn't so much an agreeing, but more so I saw an opportunity for something and jumped on it. Ah, that's what I like to hear. Now, uh, I didn't watch the original Founders Day film, uh, so you're going to have to Fill me in a little bit with your historical expertise. Well, it all started a little something like this. I declare, this is the finest land I ever did see. I concur there, buckaroo. I say we ought to settle a town out yonder. What a mighty fine idea, old chap. Great thing we're the first people here. Wait, wasn't the town found in 1824? Yeah. Weren't cowboys way after that? Danny, please. Where did you read that? A textbook? Who are you going to believe? The American education system or me? Hey, Andy. What you doing? I'm looking for the perfect seat. The perfect seat? Yes, the past few years I've gotten the worst luck with finding seats for the Founders Day movie. First, there was the guy that wouldn't stop talking. Then there was the chair that kept squeaking every time I would move. Then the worst year was whenever I had to sit next to Johnny Carlyle with his B.O. Oh. Yeah, so this year I'm determined to find the perfect seat so I can finally enjoy this movie. Um, well, do you want to take a break? Maybe get some coffee or tea if you don't like coffee. What are you wearing? Nothing. Be mean. It's a classic way of telling a girl you like her. Hey, Indy. Hey. How's the search for the perfect seat going? Um, I think I'm almost there. Are you on break? Yeah. Oh. 
How rude of me. Do you want some? Yeah, of course it didn't work. Look, you have to grab her attention by being funny, I would know. Tell her this exact joke. Two whales walk into the bar. The first whale goes into the bartender and says, Then the second whale says, Go home, Frank. You're drunk. <laughs> to your leader. You mean Mayor Wittenberg? Never. I'll protect this glorious town from you people no matter what. Ace, are you sure we need to include this? It seems just a little... Are you kidding me, Danny? The alien invasion of 1977 is an integral part of this town's history. If you say so. Look, if everything else hasn't worked, there's one more thing that you can try. What? Kiss Be her. yourself. Who are you gonna trust? Me or him? Hey, Indy, can we talk? Yeah, sure. Is it about Ace? Because I'm really worried about her. You know, she's been really standoffish today, like more standoffish than usual. And whenever I tried to ask her about it, she didn't talk to me and... Is there something on my face? Uh... Yes. Unga, unga, galunga. Unga, unga, wunga. Gunga. No, no, they did not have Bic lighters in prehistoric times. That's not historically accurate at all. How stupid are you? We've been at this for hours and nothing we've done has been historically accurate. You told me I had to shave my legs for the flapper dress. Yeah, I might have gone a bit too far on that one, but I regret nothing. But yes, Danny, this was all for nothing. It's not like any of this means anything anyways. This town, nothing. This stupid movie, nothing. This stupid theater, nothing. That's a lot of poppycock and you know it. I don't know why you're so bitter. Maybe it's all that coffee you drink. <laughs> now listen, deep down, we both want the same thing. We want happy lives and success and all that other boring stuff. Yeah, yeah but... Yeah, but we can't do that if I don't prove to Jenny that I can nail this film. And for that to happen, you have to try. Ace, I want to thank you for a hard day's work. I know it wasn't the uh, easiest thing in the world, uh, but I think it'll be worth it. Please stop with the sap. You're going to make me vomit. Mm. But you were right. Felt nice to actually try. Ah, Ace, you've made me so proud. Could, could I get a hug? Absolutely not. Shake on it partner. <laughs> I should just give up. Nothing has worked. Well, hey, don't give up yet. I'm sure we can still find the perfect way to woo Wendy. You could, uh, you could get her flowers. Uh, girls like flowers, right, Fred? Yeah, but Indy doesn't. She told me. She hates gifts. You should get her an anti-gift. What's an anti-gift? A gift that's not a gift. Look, that is not going to work. Look, 
Amy needs someone who's going to listen. Because she talks a lot. Andy doesn't need a sensitive wuss. She needs a hardcore boyfriend who's in touch with his masculinity. See, that's where I think you're wrong. Hey, can I you have some of okay? doom and gloom online? I'm not sure what this masculine facade is. I don't like, understand where this is. You know, at least I'm going to be myself. Oh, no, I am myself. Yourself. People like me, and I like me, and I think that's enough. Okay, right? I think the mushrooms are staying differently. Oh, the mushrooms Guys. are staying differently. Guys! You're the one. I have an idea. No, it's your fault. What are you? Oh, it's you. Hey, can you give me a hand with this? What's this about? Don't worry about it. Just do the thing. Uh, works for me. Okay, yep, this is it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Andy, can I tell you something? Is this about Ace? I knew something was weird today. N no. I just wanted to say, I like you, and I think you're so amazing, funny, and, and pretty. That's so sweet. Thank you, August. You know, sometimes I don't feel that great about myself, and it's so reassuring to know that the people that are close to you care. You know, I really like you, too. Oh, the previews are starting. You know, I heard Ace was helping out with the movie, and I just know it's going to be great. You're great. Guys, I haven't seen a crowd like this since Avatar. I can't wait to see what you've been working on all day. Do I have to be here for this? It's gonna be awful. Of course you do. We didn't spend five hours pouring our blood, sweat, and credit cards into this so you could be outside with Fred. Yeah, Ace, enjoy the fruits of your labor. You guys are gonna be stars. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the 40 of us, Whataburg. <laughs> Mittenberg. <laughs> Damn it. Cut. Let, let's just cut that out. Didn't we cut that out? <laughs> I thought so. God, I, I knew this was going to go this wrong. This is the finest land I ever did see. Mm, I'm not an alien. I am your typical dairy farm animal. Mm, take me to your mayor. I promise it has nothing to do with probing. I'm not falling for that trick again. I learned my lesson in the last mayor abduction. Now you scram, Greeny. <laughs> Unga <laughs> Galunga. This is nothing. We're cutting. Hey. Oh, guys, this is great. <laughs> More like not at all. <laughs> I think he's right. I think we're pulling this off. And that's the story of how this historic town got its groove back. Bye bye now. Yeah, I'm the manager. Slide me some skin. Yeah. Well, you know, I got to stand up. I sure do. You stop kidding me. What even was that? Garbage is what it was. A mockery. None of that was even close to being historically accurate, and they just ate it up. The mustaches were pretty funny. Damn it. They were funny. I shouldn't have gotten involved. They would have messed it up themselves anyway. Oh, oh shit. shit.